Here's an example of the really flexible analysis that we can create in Power BI. I've created this analysis in Power BI Desktop, but I've uploaded it to the Power BI service, so you'll notice I'm accessing it through an internet URL link. Uh, so this is probably how my senior managers in a school would interact with this um, particular visualization. I'll make it full size just so we can see uh, as much as possible uh, of the detail that this report provides. And you'll see at the top we've put um, percentages of EAL pupils, pupil premium pupils and SEM pupils because those are the three vulnerabilities we're most interested in. We've broken the SEM pupils down into a bar chart that tells us we have 83 pupils with a K code and 10 pupils with code E at uh, SEM. And I've also put a little breakdown of uh, how many boys and how many girls we've got in the school. But the really useful part of the graph and the bit that catches everybody's attention is the Venn diagram in the middle here. Because this is giving us uh, an indication of pupils who've got more than one vulnerability. So, for example, right at the intersection of the vulnerabilities there, the, the three vulnerabilities that we've got here are EAL, Pupil Premium and SEN. Right at the intersection there, we have three pupils who've got all three vulnerabilities. And of course, the question is, well, which three pupils are they so we can identify them? Well, that's why we've provided this little matrix at the side here that identifies those three pupils again. If I right click on uh, those three pupils, we can drill through to a pupil list, which should name those three pupils and gives us some more background details about those pupils and their context. We can also hover the mouse over one of the names and it will give us a photograph of the pupil as well. In addition to uh, being able to filter the graph by clicking on a, a data point, so if I wanted to see just the boys, I could click on the 462 boys in school, and all of these visualizations then update to just reflect just the boys in school. So you'll see the SEN graph has updated to tell us we have 47 SEN boys with a, a K code there. All these visualizations also update, so now we're just seeing the boys across the vulnerability matrix down here. If we go back to the list of everybody, we've also got um, some filters uh, set up for this uh, particular page. So if I want to focus down on a particular ethnicity in school, I can choose the ethnicity from there. And again, all these graphics then update for, in this case, the Bangladeshi community in school. So that's how we can create these analyses using Power BI. In this case, I've paired it up with the SIMS pupil database, but really these same analyses will work no matter what pupil database you're actually using, so long as the information's in there for us to bring out in some format, be it a straightforward spreadsheet file or perhaps uh, a more um, high-tech method, doesn't matter. We can always bring it out into Power, into Power BI and create analyses that are as powerful and as flexible as this one. This particular example is part of our Power BI Further Skills course, a course that will take staff through creating visualizations like this um, from the basics through to actually generating a Venn diagram uh, with all the uh, associated matrices alongside it. So if you're interested in taking that course, you'll find a link below this video. Uh, and also, if you would like me to create this uh, visualization for your school, again, you'll find my link in the, in the comments section below. Thank you.